welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am only going to be eating foods that I have never tried for the next 24 hours. This was the most requested video on my last food challenge and I don't think I've ever seen anybody do this before. I've done foods that I hate but I've never done foods that I haven't tried. I'm not gonna lie, it was quite hard to compile a list of foods that I haven't tried, especially for like dinner because I feel like I have kind of tried the majority of meals. I mean I realistically I probably haven't but just in my head I have. I have googled a ton of foods and I have finally put together a kind of meal plan for the next 24 hours of what foods i'm gonna have i mean for the snack stuff i'm kind of just gonna have to walk up and down each aisle hopefully i will find some things in this video that i am gonna like and i will continue to buy i hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that let's go to tesco for my lunch i thought it'd be kind of cool to go for a meal deal but something that i never normally have so i've got some knickknacks a chicken and bacon caesar salad i've never tried a caesar salad before and then i I've got Lucasaid apple blast. Another thing I've never tried is quiche. Along with all of these things in my trolley, I've got smoothies, I've got falafel, I've got olives, I've got mushroom arancini. The further into the aisles I get, the more food I realize I haven't tried. I have found some ribs. I've never tried ribs before. And I've also never tried salmon. So this video is gonna be very, very interesting. Trying to find a chocolate that I haven't tried is kind of hard, but I finally found one. I've never actually tried Boost Bites before. Believe it or not, I've also never properly tried sweet potato fries. So this is my trolley pretty much finished. I've just come out of Tesco. I've got all the food that I need for this video. Before I head home, of course, in very Anastasia style, I am going to go through the McDonald's drive-thru and I'm going to get a fillet of fish because I have never tried one of those from McDonald's. I think it's probably the only thing that I haven't tried from the McDonald's menu. I've got my McDonald's bag and the only thing in the bag is the receipt and the fillet of fish box. I'm just not like a huge huge fan on fish as a whole though like i like haddock and i like cod and that's kind of where it goes oh my god the bun's really hot i so wish my skin was as soft and as bouncy as this bun mcdonald's needs to drop a skincare routine you know what it's all right i mean i don't think i'd choose it i think i'm always gonna like opt for my usual mcdonald's option i really like the fact that you get cheese in it because i tend to add like burger cheese to a lot of meals i don't think it's awful like i'm really not thinking it's awful it's an acquired taste. I don't mind it. My first lunch is going to be interesting. So I have got falafel, which is chickpeas, broad beans, and parsley seasoned with spices. I've got mushroom arancini, risotto, mushrooms, mozzarella, and white wine in breadcrumbs. I've then got this platter of olives here. It's a Mediterranean-inspired platter. So I've got stuffed olives, green and black olives, marinated slow-roasted tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, and salted broad beans. And then like I was saying, I have never properly tried salmon. So I thought I would get a couple of salmon slices here in my balls. And I am going to pop these in the oven for 12 minutes. The food has been cooked. I have got a plate of my stuff. So I don't really know what to try first. Maybe we'll go for an olive. Olives are something that I really want to like. Because every time I go to a restaurant, all my friends always get olives to start with. And I'm like, no, it's fine. I'll go without just because like... The smell just like repulses me, I don't know. It's just very vinegary. No. Oh God. I don't even know if I can swallow it. I feel like I'm a celeb. I'm actually not kidding, my eyes got watery then. That is not a taste for me in the slightest. I will avoid olives at all costs. Next, we're gonna try some of the mushroom arancini. So I've just cut it in half, just so I can kind of see what it looks like inside. I feel like I might like this because it said it has mozzarella in and anything with cheese, I just tend to like. That is super super nice i would definitely have these with my meal again i feel like i could have these with chips or i don't know like what do you have these with tell me down below because i've never tried them before obviously love i can't tell you how good they are i'm so glad that i cooked three i'm speechless i love mushrooms like, i'm a massive lover of mushrooms next i have got again from that like platter i've got some tomato and mozzarella balls i've had like a tomato mozzarella salad before but i don't know nothing like this really 
mm, I wouldn't like enjoyably eat that. I think it's because I prefer like mozzarella cheese to be hot. Next, we're gonna go for the salmon, which is the one I have not been looking forward to. Um, a lot of my friends love this. Every time I would go for a meal with the brand, salmon was always on the menu, and it's something that I wish I liked, but the smell of it just put me off. Smelling it again now, it honestly doesn't smell that bad. It tastes like a fishy version of pepperami. Sadly, I will still not be ordering salmon when I go to a restaurant. Then I finally got the falafel, but this is a little bit burnt. It smells quite nice. Nope. Oh, that's vile. Oh, that's awful. I need my mushroom arancini. These are a winner. Dude have won. I'm so happy about the mushroom arancini, the fact that I love that now. And in a restaurant, I will happily, happily order that. Olives are a no, salmon's a no, the falafels are no. Mozzarella and tomato, yeah, I just prefer it warm. So overall, I'm just happy I liked one thing. I need something to wash that down with. So I am gonna try the Innocent Super Smoothie. This is the berry protein one. So it's got strawberry, raspberry, apple, and a coconut milk with soya protein. Here we go. I'm just gonna pour it into a glass. Yes, yummy. Anything with like strawberries, raspberries, bananas, I absolutely love. So this is a massive, massive yes from me. My dinner is out. I have got my sweet potato fries and then underneath here <gasps> is my ribs. I can't believe I've never tried. Oh my God. You've got that sauce to go over them. Here is my dinner. I am just bringing it upstairs to my room to eat. I cannot even tell you how amazing this smells. Here is the food. I am very, very excited for this. So first of all, we're gonna try a sweet potato fry. I think I've had these like off of other people's plates before in the past, but never had a portion of my own. They're very nice. Every time I'm with people in a restaurant, everyone always gets sweet potato fries. And I'm like, no, I'll just have plain. Yeah, basic. No, I actually think I will opt for sweet potato fries now more than normal fries. I really wish I got on the bandwagon with these when everyone else did a couple of years ago. The ribs. Now, I'm not going to lie. How do I eat these? How do I go about eating it? Because I've never had ribs before. And mum was like, just cut it and then you like bite it off the bone. Because I'm a massive lover of things like this, like Texas barbecue and everything. And these are Texas barbecue ribs. And every time I go to places like TGI's, I see everyone get like rack of ribs. And I just think they look so nice. But um, like I said, I've just never tried them. It's an interesting taste. I love the Texas barbecue. Texas barbecue all over. I absolutely love. The actual taste of the rib, I don't know if I like. I don't think I like ribs. I'm really, really sad about that because I thought I was going to find something that I absolutely love. Dinner was a 50% success, 50% fail. Let me know if you guys like ribs down below because everyone I know likes ribs. Also, cheeky little side note, do not comment me in the comments. I mean, haters going to hate, but haters just don't hate on this. I know I'm meant to be eating foods I've never tried before, but sweet corn just like went with this meal. You know when something just pairs so so well and they just come together as one well this is what sweet corn did for this meal my mum was cooking sweet corn downstairs and you know one just like happened to fall onto my plate now that that's good dessert is gonna be so fun though so i'm gonna finish eating my sweet corn and my sweet potato fries and then we'll go downstairs and we will make dessert it is time for dessert and i have actually got a little apple crumble in a pot that i am gonna pop in the microwave for 60 seconds it's not like an apple pie which i have had before in videos here it is it just come out of the microwave i think i need to give it a little mix so like the apples are on top it smells very different to what i thought it was gonna smell like it's a lot more pastry like smell like i can't really smell the apple yet yeah. It's not the best dessert I've ever tried. It is not the worst. I feel like if I had some cream with it and maybe a little bit of fruit, it would be nicer. I way prefer things like brownie and chocolate cake as opposed to like apple crumble, like carrot cake, like apple pie, things like that. In the style of Atticus, I'm gonna rate it like a four out of 10. Hello. Hello. I am joined with Atticus and we are going to try a couple of snacks. Yeah, how many? We've got two to try. The first one we are going to try are the Serene Five Strawberry Lunchbox <laughs> Loafs. I, I don't know if I like these. I don't know if I like them either, but we're going to give them a go. Can we try some more food, please? So here these it is. are what the packaging looks like. That is the packaging. Smell, and then here is the loaf. It. What's it smell like? Strawberries? Yeah. <laughs> is that chewing gum? No, it's bread. Yeah, that is not nice. So we've got one very positive reaction then. 
They were okay, but they weren't That's the best yummy. Thing. They were okay, but they weren't the best things. I'd rate them a 10 out of 10. What would you rate them? They had banana ones, apple ones, and another flavour, but these are the strawberry. I'd love to try the banana ones, but the banana ones are well nice. You should have bought the banana ones. So the next thing we've got is um these. I think I'll like these. Can you read it? See what they are? No. Show me. And then I'll read it out. And um, the price was two pound. <laughs> but you so you can read the price, but you can't read what they are. And how much are these? I think they're a pound. What are they? What do you think it says? Fruit and uh, flapjack bites. Oh, mommy's just having a really bad reaction. Do you want to try one, mum? Yeah. Yeah, I'll try one. Schools like you to have them. Look, three plus two. What would you give them? Eight. So we can try these, Neil. <laughs> Neil. <laughs> Remember that time you would find the copper corky? Oh yeah. <laughs> they smell nice, Mum. You go first then. Anna. Thank you. I think these would be really nice, but then I like flapjacks though. I'll rate them a 10 out of 10. Really? Yeah. Mm. Would you rate them? 10. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Who rate them? <laughs> They're yummy, 10 out of 10. Yeah. 30. That's so good. I'm excited to go Disneyland. <laughs> Next time we go. Next time we go. But that won't be for ages. My bank account's excited. Bye! Six and a half hours later. Mum and I just finished watching a film. We actually decided to watch Us and it was the most incredibly executed film I've probably ever, ever watched. I loved the acting and just everything in it. I mean, I'll talk about it more on my vlog channel because this is a food video, but incredible film. I'm now in bed and I have got some of these to try. I probably should have eaten them whilst I was watching the movie, to be fair. I don't know why I didn't, but these are the Cadbury's Boost Bites. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. That tastes like a fudge, but with little crunchy pieces in it. These, yes from me. Good morning, everyone. It is now the next day, and I am about to head downstairs, and I am going to make myself some breakfast. So for breakfast, I actually bought some cereal, just a cereal that I've never tried before, and then some milk that I've also never tried before. Here is my cereal. I decided to get the Curiously Cinnamon. I just really like cinnamon at the moment, so I thought I would grab these. And then I have got some Alpro soy milk. So I've tried the chocolate version of this, and I have the little, like, carton ones, but I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm going to have this with my cereal. And then I've also also got some tea to try. I decided to buy some raspberry and lemon with a hint of rose petals tea bags. I've got no idea what these are going to be like. I have never tried any flavour of tea apart from English breakfast tea. Here is my cereal. These smell really good. It just smells like pure cinnamon. I've got my cup and then they look like this so I'm just going to pop it in here. The tea inside the cup has gone like pink. Like, if that meant to happen. It just smells very, like, bath bomby. While it's brewing, let's try some of this. Oh, that's good. Mmm. This cereal, best thing I've tried all video. If you love cinnamon, you are going to be obsessed with this cereal. It reminds me of one that they do in America. Because America has the most amazing selection of cereal. Here is my tea. Do you see what I mean? Why is this happening? Is that meant to happen? That, I'm not too sure. I feel like I'd have that if I needed to, like, clear my airways out. If I was feeling ill, if I was ill, then I'd have that flavoured tea. Otherwise, I think I'm going to stick to English breakfast tea. We are down to our final bit. So, I obviously bought my meal deal, which I'm going to have for lunch, which I've got knickknacks for. I have got my LucasAid apple blast. And then, I don't know if it's in the fridge, I've got my Caesar salad. And then I've also got left some cup of soups, the vegetable ones, which I will definitely give those a go later on today. I've also got a couple of sweets and things that I've never tried before. These are rhubarb and custard and I've also never tried these. These are raspberry bonbons. I feel like I'm going to like these more. And finally I have this. This is the Innocent Apples, Pears and Kale Smoothie, I guess this is called. Here's my salad. Isn't it crazy that it's £2.75 but you can get the whole meal deal for £3. So I guess I need to put this dressing on and then mix it all together. Tell you what, buy and it makes a killer Caesar salad. Every time I message him, I'm like, what are you having for lunch today? He sends me a picture 
of a Caesar salad, like a chicken Caesar salad. I obviously have tried all these things separately, but not all together. And I also absolutely despise lettuce. Please let me know if I'm the only person, but I just can't seem to swallow it. Like, I just feel like I'm eating the ground. I'm gonna give it my best shot at trying to have a little bit. Let's hope I can actually get it down. The pasta's very nice. The Caesar dressing, I didn't think I was gonna like it that much, but it's very nice. And I managed to get the lettuce down. I could actually have a Caesar salad and enjoy it. I feel very healthy. Do you know what I mean? Like having like a green juice and having a Caesar salad. That's just, it's not very on brand for me, but I just feel extremely, extremely healthy doing so. That Caesar salad is a yes from me. I'm looking forward to having that. And then I've got to go with it. Some knickknacks, which I've never tried. So many people I feel like are going to be like, oh my God, you've never tried knickknacks, but I've just never tried them before. Mmm. These are nice and spicy ones. They taste a little bit like Monster Munch. Same type of vibe as Monster Munch. It's weird because that will be somebody's meal deal. But that's like the opposite to the meal deal that I would ever, ever get. And my green juices. So I have got my LucasAid Apple Blast, which is the one I actually bought to have with my lunch. Whoa. Why does that have so much resemblance to Apple Sours? Exactly like Apple Sours, but obviously non-alcoholic. That is really nice. God, I feel like mum like guzzling that cocktail in my last video. There's no point in me pretending to like it. I just know I'm not gonna. So hopefully mum will. You know all these like LA girls who have green juices every morning. How do you actually do it? The kale isn't as strong. It smells stronger than it tastes. It's not like enjoyable. It's definitely not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like I would have it. I just wouldn't choose to have that every morning. I'm more of a water drinker to be honest. I opt for water whenever I can get it. Just because I just. It makes me feel good. Final thing to end the video off before I sit and eat my lunch. Are the raspberry bonbons. These smell like brain knickers. But like in bourbon version. Yes, yes, yes. Are you going to go for like me? or healthy LA girl. That is really, really good. That is the end of this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching me eat foods I've never tried before. Overall, I have definitely found some foods that I will have now, like those raspberry bonbons I will have, the lucasade I will have, the Caesar salad I will have. Actually, I'll have four out of five of these items I've just eaten again. The cereal I loved, the mushroom arancini I thought was incredible. I didn't mind the mozzarella. Flaffle was a no. The only thing I really wish I liked was the salmon and the ribs. I really wanted to like those especially the salmon just so i could go to a restaurant and order that but never mind taste buds can change let me know down below some foods that you have never tried before that i can maybe try in another video and other than that i will see you very soon for a brand new one Mwah.